y'all and welcome to the crazy sock lady youtube channel my name is Kay, and this video today is all about sock rollers so first let me let you know where you can find me you can find me on instagram and ravelry as the crazy sock lady and i have links down below to everywhere that you can find me all of the details are right there in the description box so i have used sock rollers for so long now it is one of my absolute must have things for my sock knitting i do not measure my socks any other way now this is it for me so i recently started carrying them in my shop we'll have a link for that right down below as well and I've had so many questions about how to use them. I talked a bit about it on a couple of other little videos that I've shown in tutorials, but I felt like a full sock roller tutorial was needed. So I'm gonna be showing you how you can use them on cuff down socks as well as on toe up socks. We're gonna go through all of it. And hopefully this will answer any questions that anyone has about sock rollers. So first let's take a look at the sock roller. So this is how they come packaged. And it does tell you on the back ways that you can use the sock roller, how you can use them for cup down knitting, for toe up knitting, etc. And this is the adult size. Right now this is all that I carry in the shop, but soon there will be a kid size in the shop as well. Um, this is my personal sock ruler that I use and my favorite thing about the sock ruler is that I can mark on here where I need to start the toe. I'm a cuff down sock knitter pretty much exclusively trying to venture into toe up, but we'll see how that goes. Um, so I mark where I need to start the toe. If you are a toe up knitter, you can mark where you need to start the heel. How I have done that is just with a pencil and I've kind of like I can feel where I've kind of like etched in <laughs> with the pencil to mark where I start things. And then I've marked on here where I need to start my mother-in-law's heel or I'm sorry toe, where I need to start my toe and then where I need to start my husband's toe. <clears throat> because those are the three people that get the most socks. <laughs> so those are marked if there's never any guesswork or like looking at Ravelry project pages anymore to say, okay, where do, exactly do I need to start that heel? Don't need to do the math anymore. It is all right here. I just slide this into my sock. I'll show you how in just a moment and see where I'm at on the ruler. So there are centimeters. Oh, goodness gracious. There are centimeters and there are inches on here. It does not have shoe sizes on here. So if you are knitting, say your first pair of socks for a gift for someone, my suggestion is find out their shoe size. That is what I always do for gift socks. I have never measured anybody's foot when I've knit socks, not even my own. <laughs> um, I don't mind the having to do like some trial and error to try to figure things out. But anyways, my suggestion, if you are not comfortable measuring their foot or you are not able to measure their foot, find out their shoe size, Google shoe sizes in inches. It's gonna pull up a ton of different things for you and there may be something coming to the shop soon that will assist in this, uh, having shoe sizes and then finding out the inches. So stay tuned for that. But for right now, that's my suggestion. Shoe sizes in inches and then you can go from there. How many inches is a size women's US nine? And then you'll know on here the full length of the foot and then you can when it tells you and it comes time for the toe if it says leave two inches or whatever the pattern says you'll just measure to two inches before that total foot length for your foot so let's take a look now i'm going to show you how you can use this sock ruler you can use it for the leg of your sock if you are someone who knows that you like four inches on the leg of your sock or whatever the case is you can use it to measure the leg of your sock as well so you don't even have to carry a tape measure with you if you don't want to um, i usually still have one in my bags just in case um, there have been times where i've forgotten my sock ruler and i need to measure and i have to resort to using a tape measure but this is my go-to, this is my favorite. If I don't have it, it's like a panic moment when it comes time because honestly, sometimes I don't even remember what the measurements are that I need to stop knitting at because it's all right here. So that's kind of bad in a way, I guess, because I feel like I should probably make a couple backups. If I lose this, I'm gonna be lost. <laughs> Maybe I need to open this one and mark everything on here as well and keep 
them in separate places so I always know I have a backup if I lose one. But let's take a look now at how you can use a sock roller on toe up and cuff down socks. Just another little peek, I'll give you a close up here of these sock rollers. I've actually, something I just noticed, so I'll zoom in here. I have had this one right here so long that they still had their patent pending when I purchased it and they do have their patent on the sock roller now. Just <laughs> something funny I just noticed. So that's how long I've had this one. It's been quite a while. I and mean, I don't typically do after that heels anymore, but this is where I would mark if I was knitting. Um, I would mark where I did my heel. And I don't typically do after that heels anymore because they just don't fit me. But this is where when I was doing afterthought heels, I would mark for my heel, but then I would measure, I would put this in where I had marked for my heel. That's where I would line it up and then measure down. And when I got to this point, I knew that it was time to start the toe for my afterthought heel socks. Then I've got marked on here just for different people, just the first letter. I mean, that's M for me, <laughs> but for Teresa, Eric, you can see I had messed up on Eric's and marked it out. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a close up there. And now we are going to, I'm going to set this one aside. We're going to start with toe up first because I've actually been working on a toe up sock and just trying to do a heel flap and gusset. There's a couple things I'm not happy with, so I'm gonna rip back the toe I'm pleased with. But we'll start with this, and we'll start with measuring if you are someone who measures for the leg, because I know I count rounds. I do 50 to 60 rounds for the leg, 20 rounds for the cuff, but if you are someone who likes just a certain amount of inches, you probably measure for that. So I'll show you how to use the sock roller toe up measuring your leg. This is the end that you always want to start with. This is your zero point. You got your inches over here, centimeters over here. You're gonna slide this down in here and you're gonna line it up in your heel turn area with your cuff. And that is how you are going to measure, or I'm sorry, with your cuff. This is not your cuff, with your heel flap. <laughs> this is how you are going to measure going up. Now, if you had a um, like fish lips kiss heel. You could just slide it right down the side of your heel. Or if you know, like say this is my fish lips kiss heel, you don't want to slide it all the way down in there. You could just line it up with the top of your fish lips kiss heel and measure up if you like like a certain amount of inches from the top of your fish lips kiss heel or whatever type of heel you're doing. Or just slide it down in and then know your measurement from the bottom of your heel up for your leg. Okay, I'm gonna rip back quickly to where I can show you because I'm gonna change a few things about how I do this heel. So I'm just gonna rip back a bit and then I'll show you how to measure the foot to know where to start your heel with a sock roller. Okay, I've ripped back. Don't be alarmed that there are no needles in here. All is well, I will fix it. <laughs> I just figured for the sake of the tutorial, we'll just leave the needles out. So if you are measuring toe up, on the foot to figure out where to do your heel. All you do is slide this down inside of your sock. Just line your toe up on there. And then just make sure anytime you're measuring with this, you wanna make sure that you're not pulling your fabric because the fabric does have some stretch. Like look, there it is down there. I can pull it and stretch it all the way up to there even further if I really wanted to. So you wanna make sure that you, you smooth it out so that you do not have any like ball, like it's like bunched up down here or anything. You want to smooth your fabric, but you do not want to stretch your fabric. So just make sure that it is smoothed out, unrolled up there and measure. And then once you've done this quite a few times and you know where you are starting your heel, if you are someone who's knit toe up socks, you probably already know that measurement and you can maybe put that on there, but then you can put it on here and then you'll just have to check, line it up, see how far you are and you're good to go. 
So that's how you do toe up. Now let me grab some cuff down socks here and we will talk about those. So I've got one here that we'll measure the foot on. And then I also have one that we are going to measure the leg. Okay, let's do this one first. So if you're doing cuff down, to use this to measure your leg, you're just going to slide this in. Make sure the edge of your cuff is just lined up right at the top there. Unroll any needles or anything you have there. And then see where you're at. So if you're someone who does three inch legs, you'll know you've got just a little over an inch there to go on your leg. If you are measuring the foot of your sock for cuff down, and I'm gonna show this on nine inch because I've had a lot of questions about how do you do nine inch with a sock roller? Sorry, I have to knit back around to the beginning of round. Um, how can you use a sock roller with nine inch without your stitches flying off? So I will show you that. I would suggest that you are at the side of your sock. That is definitely my suggestion. So you can see here, I am at the side point of my sock. I would not have it be in the center of the bottom or the top of the sock. Make sure you were at the side. That'll make it less likely that your stitches are going to fall off. Start with your stitches as far back on your needles as you can. And if you're doing magic loop or anything, you can just pull those needles out and have it on the cable and it's super easy. Okay, then we're just gonna slide it in. I typically will grab here with the nine inch just so those stitches don't pop off. And we have our heel flap, heel turn, and this would measurement, if this is a fish lips kiss heel or anything, you're just gonna slide that into that. It'll fit perfectly um, and the heel will just come around and cup this portion of the sock ruler. So again, making sure not to stretch just to smooth and you can see my stitches are not falling off there smooth it out and then it'll kind of tend to roll up so you just want to unroll without stretching and see where you're at obviously i have quite a bit to go left on the foot of my sock but that is how you use the sock ruler to measure for cuff down for the foot i hope that this video was helpful in how to use a sock ruler to measure for toe up, cuff down, the foot, the leg. I think these are such a great tool to have in your, your notions bag, your project bags. I carry it everywhere with me. I always have to have it. Like I said, it's the only way I measure my socks anymore, unless it's the rare occasion I forget it or I happen to be out of the house and knit more than I think I'm gonna knit and I need it for that foot. So definitely check it out. They are listed in my shop right now. I will have that linked down below. Let me know if you have any questions about the sock roller. You guys can always comment them here on YouTube. The best place to get a response, um, sometimes the comments can even get buried on YouTube. So the absolute best place to ask a question is through email. You can do that at crazysockladypodcast at gmail.com. And I will see y'all again soon. Until then, happy knitting. Bye.